Welcome to another episode. I'm super excited to be here with, with one of the greatest marketers for me, Dean Graziosi. Welcome to my podcast, Success is Contagious. Uh, it's so good to be here. Thanks for the invite. Of course. So my first question for each guest that I have here is, who is Dean Graziosi? Can you share a little about your journey before becoming the Dean Graziosi that we know today? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to. But first, before I start, I have to say this. Thank you for the invite. Thank you for what you do. You know, the, the thing about being an entrepreneur or I get to be a marketer is, and, and I get to impact lives and I get to write books and I get to create courses and I get to do cool launches with Matthew McConaughey and Tony Robbins and all this cool stuff. That's great to say, but what I want to share with everybody listening and with you is I know what happens in the invisible. I know what happens when no one's watching, when you doubt yourself, when you don't know if you can do it. Can, what does my, does my translation come across? Okay. Can I do it in Spanish? Can I do it in English? Can I do it somewhere else? Can I do it in my family not look at me like I'm crazy? Can I do it even though I don't have a great education? Can I do it because I don't have money? Should I just take the safe road? I just want to say for all of you listening or watching right now, I just want to commend you for what you do in the invisible, for what you do when no one's watching. Because at the end of the day, we're going to have to fight no matter what in our lives. That's just the fact. If you settle and get a job that you hate, you're still going to have to fight your emotions each day. You're going to have to fight that you don't have the freedom. And if you decide to fight to be an entrepreneur, or you are one and you want to scale your business and you want to get better at what you do, we're still going to fight. We might as well fight for the things that move the needle, fill our hearts, and allow us the freedom and the choices to live into who we're supposed to be, not who we're settling to be. So I just wanted to start there before I share who I am is thank you for being here today. I promise you over the next 45 minutes or so, might not have all the answers, but I promise you we'll deliver at least one thing that could shift your life. And I'm just going to challenge you when you hear that one thing, actually do something with it. So thank you. Thank you again for uh, allowing me to be here. Of course, uh, my pleasure. Time. So who is Dean Graziosi? You know, um, there's a million answers. I don't want to make this about me. I want to make it about the <laughs> viewers. But long story short, where I think we can relate is I, I, we were just sharing before the camera started, yes. rolling, right? Um, you are our first generation living here in Miami, right? You live in Miami? Yes. I, I live in Arizona, but I'm in New York right now, upstate New York, a little town I grew up in. And you're first generation, but I'm third generation. My grandfather left Italy without a dime in his pocket. He shoveled coal in a steamship to, to pay for his ticket, got dropped at Ellis Island in New York City with nothing. Didn't speak the language, not a penny in his pocket. And how great is that? Two generations later, I get to be someone who does all these cool things and leave a legacy and take care of my family and retire my parents and donate tens of millions of meals to Feeding America. And we've, you know, we've spent $600,000 and sent it to help kids with slavery. And we get to build schools in Africa. And we just helped Matthew McConaughey with his, uh, with his charity to help kids in high school who are having trouble and need a safe place to go. And we just donated a half a million dollars there. Like, I'm not saying that, I'm saying this guy who came from nothing, his grandfather came from Italy. When I was born, I lived in a trailer park. We didn't have much money. My mom was a single mom working three jobs. So the only reason I share that is sometimes, and I think you know this, uh, is you see somebody having success and you're not sure what path they took to get there. And it looks easy once they're there. And I just want to share mm -hmm. with you that I can tell you my whole life story. I can just tell you that I watched my mom struggle and I hated it. And um, I knew there had to be a better way. So if you're struggling back against the wall, considering if you should be a, um, considering if you should be uh, an entrepreneur, considering if you want to go to that next level of life, I just want to share with you. I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like to want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year on your own and have freedom. And I know what it's like to struggle to get that first sale. And I also know what it's like to struggle to when it doesn't go through, but I also know what it feels like when you get momentum and you get your next sale and you keep moving forward. And I know what it's like to do a hundred thousand a year, then a hundred thousand a quarter, then a hundred thousand dollars a month, then a hundred thousand dollars a week, then a hundred thousand dollars a day, and then a million dollars in five hours, and then tens of millions of dollars in three hours. Like I'm not saying that to brag. I just know at every level what it feels like. I know I've questioned myself. I know I felt like an imposter. I know I felt like I'm not sure this could work for me. It works for other people. And I also know what it feels like to have the freedom to know that you are enough. You have enough. You could be enough. So I know what it's like to be on every end of it. And, and what I want to share is no matter where you are, you are enough. You know enough. Sometimes we just need the encouragement, the direction, the guidance, and then being disturbed with our own inaction, 
disturbed with just settling. And you just, at some point, you have to have the courage to go forward. Confidence doesn't come until you're courageous. Courage is being bold enough to gain capabilities from a podcast like this or a course or a training or a mentor or a friend or someone else you see and go, I'm not settling anymore. I need to move forward. So long story short, I'm just a regular guy who decided I wanted more. I needed more in my life. And I took uncomfortable action, moved forward. And I, I get to, now I get to write books and do courses and do big launches and help impact uh, lives and get to be on a cool podcast like this. And my <laughs> wife will be very happy that this is being translated in Spanish. My wife is Spanish and, and my children's uh, first language is, is Spanish. So I got to step up my game anyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So thank you for this. I have a quote for you from John F. Kennedy. Everybody has a change the world speech in them. I truly believe that everybody has a story to tell, but how they can convert a story to tell into a course to sell. I love that. I love that story. I'm writing that down to tell. <laughs> okay, that was like, a, I was in my momentum, you know, after a meditation and I got that and I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, that is, that is such It, it, so what's the question around that? Do I believe that to be true? No, no. How they can convert their story into a course that they could sell to help a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, that's what Tony and I's obsession is right now. It's, you know, I, I'm going to preframe a little bit and just share something. Okay. Uh, Tony Robbins and I have been friends for over a decade. We decided to be friends. We weren't doing business together. We just hung out. We talked almost every single day. We built this great bond. And then one day we decided, let's do something. And what we decided to do is help people become a coach, create a course, create a workshop, do a podcast, somebody to take their life experience and convert it into something that impacts others. And why we did that is because Jim Rohn got Tony to spend $47 when he was 17 to go to a live event. And his mind was blown. He's like, wow, I don't have to figure this stuff out on my own. And then 27 years ago, I bought a course from Tony Robbins. And I was like, wow, I don't have to figure this stuff out on my own. So Jim Rohn kind of shifted Tony Robbins' life. Tony Robbins shifted my life. And we were together about seven years ago. And we said, if we're going to do something, we have to help people realize that their story, their life experience may be the most valuable asset that they own. They just don't know it. So how do we help them take that? You know, sometimes we're a chapter ahead, a book ahead. How do we help them take that experience and realize the value and then deliver it to others? I'm going to give you the best example I think I can share. Okay. So I'm in, an, I'm in my little town of, in upstate New York that I grew up in, 5,000 people. And one of my dearest friends owns the only deli in town. It's called Frank's Deli. And he's been a friend since I was 17. And I see him once a year. But it's like, you know those friends you see once a year, year and you pick yes. up right where you left off? <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm in the deli with him three days ago. I'm, I'm here for a couple of weeks in this little town before we take off. And uh, he said, I, I see you're doing this own your future challenge with Tony. What? what? He's my buddy. Like, he's not the guy that sees and buys my books. He's my Hi. buddy. That's, now, this is a guy that's uh -huh. had a deli for 40 years. He owns a third of this town. He bought every apartment in this town. He owns multiple houses, multiple apartments, extremely successful guy. And he said to me, what is this own your future? Like, I'm, I just, I'm not sure what you and Tony are doing. Right. <laughs> and I said, what would it be worth to you? How long have you been in this deli business? He said, 40 years. I said, what would it be worth to you when you were 22 years old for you to go back and spend a day with your knowledge today with your 22 year old self? And he's like, oh my God, the mistakes I wow. made, the things that were wrong. He's like, God, oh my God, I'm seeing. So, and then I said, let me finish. How many delis in the last 40 years have you walked into and go, oh my God, they're doing it all wrong. If they just changed this, if they just did this, he's like, all of them. That's why they go out of business. I said, look how freaking successful you are. I said, you think your deli and your hundred apartments is your most valuable asset. I said, it's not Frank. Your most valuable asset is your wow. 40 years of experience on running the most successful deli around. I said, imagine, do you think it would be worth somebody paying you $5,000 a month if they had a deli and consult with them? He's like, I could triple that in a moment. And he goes, he literally went, oh my God, my life experience. I said, yeah, you condense decades into days. Sometimes it's a decade. Sometimes it's a year. If I'm starting to be a salesman and you're a year ahead of me crushing it, should I try to figure out that whole year? Should I have you teach me in a course, in a training, in a weekend Zoom, in a workshop, be my mentor, be my coach, be my consultant? When I shared that, he's like, I'll, I'll never be the same. I totally get what you guys do, but that's for everyone. The, the, the mom who went through a divorce, but her, put her kids first and her kids are thriving. 
someone else's, their kids aren't thriving in the middle of that divorce. Your story is something they need. In fact, you're doing a disservice by not sharing it. You know, we've been doing this long enough and I know you have too, is we've seen every niche you could possibly imagine. Um, People with, yes. with learning how to paint, learning how to do hair, learning how to find purpose again, learning how to get through trimester four after you have a baby and your emotions. Women helping other women get through menopause because they got through it in, in a really healthy and natural way. I mean, everything you could imagine you have a story and experience and you're on the other side of the pain you've you've gone through the journey and someone else is starting on day one and yes. when you have the when you realize that value then it's time to dive in understand it dig into it i mean that's what we're doing uh, uh on august 1st on the own your future challenges we're showing people that evolution of why this why now what you should offer who you should offer to how to serve them with your heart not sell them how to teach it and how to enter this industry and, and you know tony and i are going to scream from mountaintops until we get everybody in no this is going to be amazing and at the end i want to like you do like a special invitation just for the speaking uh, spanish community okay uh why now is the perfect moment You already say like a few things, but why now is the perfect time to take control of our own future? Yeah, so there, there's lots of ways you can take, you can own your future. I'm going to look through, you know, my perspective, the glasses I have on okay. today. But owning your future just means, you know, if you don't own it, someone else will. That's just a fact. And life, wow. life is too short. Life is too short not to make your own decisions, not to be, not to own your calendar, not to own how much time you spend with your family not to own your passion, not to own your purpose. Life is too short, you know, and when the outside world is so crazy, which it is more right now than ever in my 54 years of being on this planet, sometimes we let the outside world control the inner game. We go up and down with our emotions based on the news, based on the headlines, based on the economy, based on interest rates, right? Things are up, things are down. Our emotions are up and down. To own your future, to own your soul, we must own the inner game. We must control our emotions so we could see where we want to go, even when it's foggy, even when there's a storm, even when your friends are complaining. No, no, no. I own my future and I know how I'm going to get there. In this instance, with my glasses on, what, what Tony and I are sharing and what I know you do as well, whether you own a business right now or not, owning your future through our lens is owning your career, owning your own business, being an entrepreneur. And we're looking through the lens of the self-education industry, the knowledge industry, a course, a coach. And why? Because it's one of the fastest growing industries in the world. It's at about a billion dollars a day right now. They're project projecting it to be a trillion wow. dollar a year industry by 2028. So the economy might be doing this. This industry is a skyrocket because I think, and, and pulling the curtain aside, what I really believe, I've been in this 27 years. It wasn't that cool 27 years ago to create a course and be a coach. It was like, Tony's been in it 40 something years. It's like, oh, that guy that walks on fire, the rah, rah guy. Those days are gone. People now are proud to say, oh, I have a coach. I have a business coach. I have a life coach. I have a love coach. Oh, I bought this course on finances. I bought this course on investing. I bought this course on how to raise my children so they're, they're stronger and more independent. That conversation didn't happen. So number one, it's a, it's mm -hmm. a, a fast growing industry, super strong, exponentially, geometrically growing. That's number one. Number two, it's cool, right? Number three, people are realizing they don't want to go back to school. They don't want to learn on their own. They want to learn from somebody who's already been there. But the biggest thing is access. When I started 27 years ago, there was no internet. I literally had to film an infomercial. I had to build product. I had to put it in a warehouse. I had to get people to ship the product. I had to take a phone call. There was no internet. There was no, I had to spend a ton of money for direct mail and infomercials. And then if they bought it, I had to ship it to them. In today's world, look at you and I, we're, we're both on the East coast, but we're, you know, on the opposite side of the country. And in two seconds, we're live interacting. You literally could extract what you know and be on a zoom call with somebody helping change their life in a month from now, getting paid to do it. That didn't exist. It's here. Nope. This is the time. Yes. And I look at it like a wave. It's like, if you ever watch surfers, you're in Miami. If you ever watch a surfer, right? If they, if they get in front of a wave, what's it do? It pushes them all the way to the shore. But if they miss the wave, they paddle like crazy. It takes off without them. They don't get it. I believe this is the time to be in front of the wave. And that, that's just our perspective on how to own your future. Wow. And because we're talking about online education, 
what do you think uh, about AI for online education? Because a lot of people have like mixed feeling, like uh, I love it, I hate it, I don't know if it's going to be ethical. So what do you think about AI for online education for the present and the future? Here's what I'd love to tell you. What's going to happen is people are going to abuse it and then nobody's going to want something that just AI create. I mean, just we've been here. But it is an amazing, let's call it no blank page. What AI is great for is to get the rocket off the ground, to take you halfway. If you're, you're a soccer fan, football fan, it's like AI can take you halfway down the field really fast. And it can also compound your knowledge, right? You, you want to help people Uh, with a child-centered divorce, make sure your kids are first. You can go use AI to get data, information, headlines, product, to really get you halfway down the field, get off the blank page. But then you need the skills to really fine tune it. You need the framework that really teaches someone how to make impact. Words don't change lives. Information doesn't change lives. There's plenty of information out there. Why aren't people just using free YouTube videos? Because it's not packaged in a way that actually transforms people. So use AI to get you halfway down the field and then stop there and then use the strategies from somebody like myself or Tony or you, somebody who's done it before so you can actually create a framework that changes people's lives. Anybody can sell, excuse my language, crap in a box. Anybody could sell something that seems good but there's no greater feeling in the world than truly transforming someone's life that over deliver. They buy something from you and go, I hope this is good. And they get done. They go, Oh my God, this woman changed my life. This man impacted my soul. That's what we should live for. And the byproduct of that is greater success than anybody you'll ever see. Thank you. I have the same opinion, just like you. I think it's like good assistant, but when you talk from your experience, it's really hard to beat that. Like, uh, it's not talking about information only. So I have like uh, another question for you because a lot of people want to do this. Like they truly want to do that. Like in their yearly goals, I want to create like a course, a program, but they feel like, or they think that their knowledge and their experience is not enough. Or they're not good enough. Oh, there's already a lot of products, the same product. They think that it's going to be the same product. So What would you say to them? Listen, Tony and I are partners, Tony Robbins and I. Yes. We partnered with Matthew McConaughey, did a big, great launch. We got a couple other fun partners coming along. I have a million friends in the industry from Brandon Bouchard and Charlene Johnson and Jenna Kutcher. We all have some similar things we teach. Okay. But I'm going to teach it my way. Some people listen to me and go, man, I love learning from that guy. And some people go, no, nah, he's not for me. I like Trent Shelton or I like Jay Shetty or I like that. There are people right now that need you to share your message, wow. you to share your experience. And they're only going to resonate with you. You said story to tell, course to sell. I, I, taking that even deeper is there is there is an experience in your life that only you could share to certain people that they will actually hear it and have a shift in their Oof. life. That's just the fact. Sure. And, and secondly, um, if you see a lot of people in an industry, that's the industry you want to go in. We have, we have been taught that we got to find the thing no one else has. Impossible. Everything in the history of the world has been thought of. There's very few things that come out. And when they come out and seem new, they're just a, 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 a version of something else that was long ago. You know, when everybody says Tesla, everybody loves Tesla, right? It's the new electric car. It's booming. Do you know when the first electric car came out? 1857. It just finally caught hold. Everything in life is a variation of something else. It's your interpretation. It's your perspective. It's the way mm -hmm. you talk. It's your cadence. I might bug some people. Other people are like, that's my guy. That's okay. Then there's other people that can teach. So if there's a lot of people in the space, that's a good sign because it's growing exponentially. Number two, you have a message only certain people can hear from you. Number three, mm -hmm. think about your own life. Let me ask you, you're listening or watching right now. What would it be worth to you? I wish we were, if we were live and we were in the chat right now, I'd ask you to put it in. What would it be worth to you to go back and spend two days with your 20 year old self? That's, that's first. The second question is, what would you share? Would you share about love? Like, don't just marry the first guy. It was, or don't do it just to spite your parents. Or don't feel like you had to use your college degree and take a job you hated because you felt bad for your family. I don't know what you share. Maybe you'd say, share about your health and say, take care of yourself. Because when you're older, you fall apart. I don't know what it is. But on a scale of one to 10, how important would that be? 
like a hundred million, right? Someone else is starting off there and needs your information because you are a chapter ahead, a book ahead, a year ahead, or even a decade ahead. And they need to hear it from you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. That was so powerful. But I'm, I want to be honest, telling a line, isn't it always easy? So I really want to know what difficult, difficulties have you faced selling online education? And how did you overcome them with your team? Because I know that you have an amazing team behind this project with Tony. Yeah. So first off, there's a big difference about getting your first sale and okay. getting thousands of sales, right? So each level you have to have, you learn a new skill, you learn a new capability, you have more marketing stamina as you grow. So what is, I would say what the biggest problem is misconception. First off, I think people believe to sell a course, they have to have millions of followers online. And I think that's one of the biggest lies we've ever been told is people yes. say, oh, first, for, first I got it. We have, my wife and I have a dear friend. So Dean, I haven't got your course yet. I'm going to, but I, I'm going to do this. And she said, what kind of microphone should I order for my podcast? And what kind of camera should I get? And she was talking about all this stuff. I'm like, you shouldn't do any of that. She's like, yeah, but don't I have to do a podcast? And then I'll go live on Zoom and I'll go live on TikTok. I'm like, for what? She's like, so I can get lots of followers and I can get a sale. And I was like, oh, that's the big misconception. I said, what if I taught you to do sales first? And the byproduct was you got more people to follow you. Wow. I think the biggest, biggest thing for somebody brand new is, is bad advice, misconceptions not understanding where to start. It's one of the reasons we do it is five days, right? It's one of the reasons we create courses to help people. It's one of the reasons you probably do it is showing people the right place to start, right? Yes. Number two, as you scale, where I think people hit the biggest uh, obstacle is how to get the right people in front of you, right? How to mm -hmm. find the right people, how to get them to say, yeah, that sounds good to me. And I would say high, high level, if I was going to give advice to my 21 year old self, I'd say, Focus on falling in love with your client, not just loving your product, like fall in love with your client, like their family, fall in love with your product and fall in love with your client results and make every decision based on serving someone you love. Sounds a little foo-foo, sounds a little new agey. It's not. When you build something that you think sells, when you build something that will make you money, when you build something that you think people will say yes to, and you forget to attach their outcome, that you love them, you might make sales. But something changes when people feel your heart. Something changes when you look through a lens and go, no, that's not what I would do for my sister. I would do something different for my sister. I would serve that different. I would create this little different. I'd start a little slower. And all of a sudden, that's where brands grow. That's where your momentum grows. And I would, I literally would say, if you're starting, start with sales first and then build a following. Don't try to build a following. It takes years to do. That's a fact. Yes. Get sales first, then the following will come. Serve people as if they're your family, if you love your family, which most do. Right? We all have some crazy people in our family. <laughs> I, I but serve them and fall in love with, with your clients. And then the third part, if you're really scaling and it's ready to grow, have marketing stamina, meaning watch what other people do. Tony and I are great at challenges and other things that we do. Model other people that are doing having successful launches, challenges, trainings, and model it and then go deep. And when it doesn't work, don't think, oh, this doesn't work. No, it just didn't work for you in the moment. Stamina means keep trying, keep twisting. The, the art and the science, shift your messaging, switch the delivery system, switch the packaging. If you're ready to go all in, your first five or your first 50 versions might not hit fire. But number 51 would be the rocket ship. Wow. That's amazing. And because we are talking about challenges, why you did, because you have like, correct me if I'm wrong, five years doing this with Tony, right? Five years. Correct. Okay. So the first time you did a webinar, was it right? It was a yes. webinar. The, yes. Why challenges and not a webinar? I think I know the answer, but I want to, <laughs> I want to listen for you. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. And I want to tell you guys, okay. please hear me. A five-day challenge and a webinar will convert about the same number. I want okay. You to okay. It will convert. It will convert with the same number. But I have three, almost 30 years in this. And here's what I know about a webinar. I love webinar. And especially when somebody delivers value to sell something. Our first year, I don't know if you remember the first year of our KBB launch. It was the biggest launch. I was, I was there like taking know how you were doing everything. <laughs> yeah, it was a monster, right? I mean, it was the biggest launch in internet history by like five right? Yes. And I loved it. And people loved it. But Tony and I got together after and said, hey, I'm going to have to go upstream. When you only do a couple hours of a training, even though you try to deliver value, if you're going to offer a product or service at the end, 
sometimes it feels like, oh, it was just a pitch. And I want you to hear there is ripe fruit and there is green fruit. I look at that with people. In a webinar, you can pick the ripe fruit. Get people like me. I, when I see something I like on a webinar, I can't wait for the button to drop. I want to buy it. Yes, I want to buy too. it right now. I want to <laughs> curry, drop the button. I want to buy this product, right? Other people like my sister are a little more logical. Like, huh, Tony and Dean seem cool. I like this Jenna Kutcher girl. I'm not sure. I'm going to do a little research. My sister to me is green fruit. I'm kind of the ripe fruit. I'm a spontaneous buyer. I see it. I want it. My sister, if she goes to a car dealership, she wants to go to three, test drive, do a background search. She needs more logical decision. She makes more logical decisions. What I feel in, we're in a stage of life where, and if you're going to write anything down, write this down, more value in advance, more Thank value you. in advance. So in a webinar, we can convert the same numbers. Tony and I could go live for two hours, let people know, sell our product, same number. Five days, a lot. People have to commit to five days, two, two and a half hours a day. But in five days, we are delivering massive value in advance. So at the end of the five days, they do one of two things. They go, hell yes, I want to work with these guys forever. What do you have? Or I'm not sure I want to do this, but these guys are awesome because they just gave me five days of value. So if you think of the ripe fruit, we still get the ripe fruit. The buyers like me and go, hey, that was badass. I want Tony and Dean's product. But the people who don't go, let me see. And then after the event, we do nothing but deliver value to people. So over time, they go, these guys are pretty badass. I'm going to take it. And all of a sudden, we are ripening green fruit. So it is way more work. It is legitimately five days of intense training, all laid out in a way to make it easy. But it is speakers. We have Jay Shetty coming and a whole bunch of amazing speakers that are coming. Got a surprise guest, I think, that's coming on day five. We got Amazing people each day that most of you might know or could know in the future. Did we lose it? Yeah, no, wait. Yes, sorry. Please not touch that. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, Dean. I'm okay, sorry. Okay, no, no worries. So five days is a heavy lift on our side. We make it simple for the, the viewer to get through it, but it's a heavy lift. It'd be way easier to do two hours. But I want people to come. So value in advance is the reason we do it. Mm -hmm. Ripening green fruit so we can serve everybody. Me and serve my sister type person. But I want people to come, if you really think about this, I have these crazy visuals that go on in my head. I want people to come like day one and they're like, all right, I heard Dean on this podcast. I'm going to go check it out. And their arms are kind of crossed and like, yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll do this. And then day one, we knock it out of the park. Myself, Tony, Jim Quick is going on day one. I want them to get done with day one and their arms come across and they go, well, damn, that uh, was good. And they start more. to lean in. <laughs> and I want them to get done with day one and go, well, shit, I want more of that. And then day two comes and it's myself and 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 we have uh, Cody Sanchez and uh, uh, Jay, Jay Shetty. Shetty. And day two, day two, I show people how to identify exactly what it is they should be selling. Where they go, oh my God, that is valuable. And I show them how to find the person identify the person who wants it. So at the end of the day too, they're like, well, son of a gun, I, I could do this. I I'm not going to listen to that limiting belief. Tony got rid of that day one. I didn't know what I was going to sell, but damn, I could sell that. And then each day we do that. So by the time they're at day five, they're like, well, God damn it. I need to do this. Tony and Dean, can you help me more? That's why we do a five day challenge. Is it a heavy lift? Yes. Is it hard to keep people focused for five days, a couple hours a day? Yes. And simultaneously, it's the choice we make because we want to deliver more value in advance at a time when everything is a pitch. Everything you click on, here's how to get rich for doing nothing. Watch this, you know. So we're just we're it. just at a place where we want to serve. And could we make it easier on ourselves? Yes. And I think we'd be doing a disservice to the world. Wow. No, thank you very much for everything that you are doing. I have a question. How many months do you need to prepare a big launch? Just like the one that you're going to be launching right now on your future. Honestly, it's a good three months, three months. Perfect. And when we are talking about like giving value to people uh, in advance, I love that. I never, I was like, a, no, no, you teach just a leader and then do a pitch. I was like, that's not me. That's not my, the, who is Vilma. But I want to know, how we can craft the perfect offer right now because there is a lot of like competition a lot of people are selling online education and sometimes you know people say no it's about money no i already enrolled in another program so how you and your amazing team i i think uh, listening was like more than 100 people working with you in this launch 140 oh my goodness so okay 140 people working how you together craft the perfect offer 
for your audience? Here's the thing. What most people do is you really got to know who they are and what they need. I know that sounds like duh, that's what everybody does. It's not what everybody does. It, you have to live inside their mind. You have to answer okay. the questions they have. You have to overcome their fears. You have to help them start, even if they've started other things before. And you got to build a sense of community and connection where you're helping pull them through the course. I saw a statistic once, Tony and I did, and it freaked us out. Um, the average person, 8% of people on average finish a course, 8%. 8%. And I said, 8% finish a course when they buy it. And Tony and I said, that's unacceptable. We want it to be 100%. So everything we look at when we build a course first, before mm -hmm. it gets to the offer, but when we build a course is where could they get stuck? How can a newbie finally do this? And how can the person in the game go faster? And we just think through every piece of that on pulling people through. We want 100% of people not only to finish the course, but get the results that they want. Listen, this year, we're working on a new course. This year, we filmed everything brand new from scratch. Tony and I, we just did it last year. And Tony and I looked at it and said, it was a 10, but the world has changed a little bit. AI has come into play. People's emotions, people are a little more uncertain. We ended up shooting the entire course over again. And we started thinking through, wow, where would our avatar, where would she or he get stuck? What do they need here? How do we pull them through? How do we, so we obsessed on that. Then it's so easy when it comes to the marketing to say, hey, we are different because here's why. We're meeting you where you are. You see, an irresistible offer to me is not a great price with, with payment plan. That's part of it. But an irresistible offer to me is, are you going to get somebody the results that they've been trying to get with other people that they couldn't get? Are you finally going to get those results from people? Are you going to meet them where you are, 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 where they are? Are you going to give them the confidence to finish this course and get the results? Are they going to feel connected to something bigger than themselves? When they get done with this course, you know the way I feel? When people get done with what we do, I want people to go, I'll never buy another course again for the rest of my life. This is it. Why would I buy another course? This is the family I want to be a part of. These are the people who care about me. These are the people that won't let me fail. And mm -hmm. I know that sounds crazy, but most people don't have that level of obsession. And maybe it, it took me a long time to get here. But if I could give, if I could give my 27-year-old self advice when I started in this industry is care more, understand your client more, understand everything about them, understand what they worry about. What are their nightmares? What are their dreams? What are their goals? How many kids are they juggling? What, what do they do on a daily basis? Does their husband not support them? When you look through all those lens, you just create different stuff and you speak differently to them than the person that creates the perfect webinar pitch. Okay. Wow. Thank you. And because you start this interview talking about the invisible part, there is a lot of things that nobody see that are behind a launch. I remember last year, uh, I was watching live the, the whole challenges, the whole challenge. And I remember that you were saying to people like, please come. We are getting a lot of emails. We are trying to respond to everybody. So do you think the part of the support part is one of the most difficult part uh, behind a launch or there is something that is even more hard during a launch? It's So the way my brain works, my team knows this, it's all equally important. To me. Okay, so, I like so, it. So making sure if people are on, a, on Zoom that there's a moderator in every single channel in case they need something. And we put moderators, you know, uh, our last challenge, we had uh, 52,000 people in Zoom, just Zoom alone and another 500,000 people watching on YouTube, right? Live at the same time. Yeah. So we had temporary, not, not that everybody, I'm, these are huge numbers. So please know, I, I feel blessed beyond belief to be able to say that to you. And, and we teach people how to do challenges with 10 people and get two sales at five grand each. They made $10,000 and they're the happiest people in the world. And they get to impact those two lives. So please know that the only reason I can talk about a challenge is because it's like an accordion. You know, the musical box that can go big and wide, or it could be teeny tiny. If someone took all my money away today, took all my success away, took anybody knowing my name, took 100% of my followers away today, said, no one knows you, you have no followers, what would you do? Anything in the world, you know what I would do? I would do a free Facebook group challenge in two weeks from now on something I knew, and I would sell them. I would collect the money through PayPal or Venmo, and I would sell something in two weeks that served other people. So please know when I talk about a big old challenge, I would, if you took everything away from me, it's what I would do in two weeks from now. And I would make sales. Um, Amazing. But yeah, it's all important, right? You have that many people. It's like the tech that, you know, the last one we did with Matthew McConaughey, we had two and a half million people watch our video day one between live and wow. watch. Wow. 
we had, who me? I had backup servers, backup Zooms. I had a generator out in the parking lot. I had battery, we had a battery pack in case the internet or the, 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 the electric went <laughs> down in the building. We hired a hundred extra temps to be in every Zoom, two in each Zoom room and answering customer service and answering emails. I mean, you can imagine two and a half million people day one, you got some emails coming in, right? Um, so uh, it was crazy. So all those pieces are a part of it, but it's just as important to create an opt-in page that gets 45% opt-in rate, not 38, right? It's just as important that the follow-up sequence to, to the pre-event training that we do in the Facebook group that for those of you, I, I listen, all, I'm going to share this right now. Write this down, future480.com, future480.com. All of you, 100% of you, no matter where you are, should go to that link right now and reserve your spot for this challenge. Whether you want to model it, whether you want to learn from it, whether you want to see our marketing, you should look at our opt-in page, our registration page, our follow-up sequence. You should get inside the Facebook group. You yeah. should show up for the events, see how we lay out each day, how we deliver value in advance. You guys, whether you're starting in it, you have a business you want to scale, you want to learn marketing, or you want to launch your first course or a coaching program, not one of you should miss this. I'm just saying it's the only time of year Tony and I do this for free. It's off the charts. Future, F-U-T-U-R-E, 480.com. Make sure you do that. But Thank uh, you. Back, Thank back you. to the challenge. And, and by the way, it's free. And, and yes. crazy, crazy, it is free, not kind of free. Um, but back to the challenge, all of those pieces are equally as important to me. Like literally, okay. like I said, I'm, I'm in upstate and I have a little room out here that the house is across the driveway, but I, I, we set up this little office here. I'm in here today, literally when we hang up, I'm literally in here today. I will test the new opt-in page headline today. Personally, that's my, it's my jam. I have 140 people, but some things I do, I will test the new opt-in page. I will test the VIP. I will be shooting videos. I'm obsessing on the, on the, on the slides that I'm going to use day one, two, three, four, and five, that the slides are simpler and easier. I looked at last year, they were amazing, but I think I can make them better. I watched, I literally the last couple of days, I watched all five days from last year. And I'm like, I love that. I love that. Oh, I could have done better there. And I take a note. I'm like two minutes, 27 wow. minutes in, you could have done a little better here to not let people feel overwhelmed. So it's all equally important, whether it's 10 wow. people, 10,000 or a million, it's, it's all the same. And the rewards are to me, what will light me up more than anything. I love impacting people. I love getting people to say, yes, I want people to work with Tony and I, but more so as I know we're going to give three quarters of a million to a million people, a new level of hope on August 1st. And, and what that. could be better than that? People are going to get off and go, God damn it. I could do this. I could do this. I could be better. I could be more. I could lean in. I am enough. I know enough. I can do this. You just, most of the time you need someone to show you where to start and you need the framework and not try to figure it out on your own. So I think, I think that's, uh, I hope that answered the question. Yes. No, no. This is the question that actually I was waiting for. And I'm like, uh, I'm nervous. I want to share this with my community when the interview is done. The last question about marketing, and I think it's more like a business strategy. I really want to know your experience uh, working with affiliate and partner, because since the day one that you and Tony partner to do this amazing project, you have been counting and sharing the marketing effort to promote and get least leads and sales and also the revenue with affiliates and partners. So I really want to know uh, why you keep doing and why this is important for your business. So a couple of things, and we've, yes. we've done it all on these challenges. Two years ago, we had 22 hundred affiliate this year we're going to have about 25 so we've we've been i'm through. super excited to be on that list thank you <laughs> yeah so we've we've uh and we've tried both here's why here's what we love the reason we attract affiliates if you ever want to do it remember this you have a business you, you when you when you approach someone they have a business they work their tail off to build a following they work their tail off to build a reputation they have things going on in their own lives and their own businesses and and even though you might have something great for their for their following, you're interrupting them and you're asking them to send your family to me. So first and foremost, I would say, and this is what Tony and I have done since day one, is we are going to serve your audience. You show up, you're listening right now. You come to this event. I promise you, mm -hmm. we'll treat you with class, with honor. And when you're done, you will say thank you, wow. right? So first and foremost, it is our job. Tony and I feel it's like you dropped your kids off at our house. We're going to treat them amazing. Wow. When they come back home, they're going to go, 
hey, that was an amazing experience. We went swimming, we went fishing. They were really polite. They fed me this amazing food, right? Like, no, nah, they were a pain in the ass and they were mean to me, right? So we're going to treat your people so good that when they get done, they're going to send you and say, well, God damn, that was amazing. Thanks for referring. So first and foremost is serving your people. Secondly, is we want to deliver value and not just be like, oh, you sent me to a pitch fest, right? We want people to go, no, 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 you sent me something amazing. And then third, we want to convert so so strong that you go, okay, my people are happy. They're so glad they did it. They're better humans because of it. And oh my God, I got a big check for helping serve others. And that's how we've approached it every year. And we did it with 2000 and it was crazy and fun and exciting. And now we're going really deep to help 25 people that we care about. And because you might have people right now this is being translated in Spanish, that Tony and I would never reach and they'd miss out on this. Jay yeah. Shetty has people we might never reach that would miss out on this, right? Pace Morby or Russell Brunson or, or other people that, yes. you know, that have been affiliates through the years, they have people on their list that need this so bad that we might not be able to got, you know, be able to get to, and they can. So it helps us serve more people while simultaneously bringing some fun partners into the play and you can make money while helping people. I, I don't think there's anything better on this planet. <laughs> And before the final invitation, uh, because I have a surprise for everybody that go through my link, I have two questions that I ask to everybody in, in this podcast. Two quick questions. The first one is, what is success for Dangerous Dealsy? And the second one that I think is really related and our Spanish-speaking community has a lot of problems is, what is your mindset about money? Okay, I so number one, success <laughs> means to me, uh, success is really simple is that I get to be in control of my decision. Wow. The reason it's called own your future is because I have to own my calendar. I, I have four children. Uh, I have from 16 down to eight months old. Um, wow. my, little daughter, <laughs> my, my little daughter is Vida. Um, she is so gorgeous. And I, I want to, I want to be able to be with my wife and my children at my, when I want to be, I still drive my kids to school. I still pick them up from school. I get to spend time with them. And at this phase wow. of my life, it's family. I love to work. I, do, I don't do much other than work and be, be with my family and I love my life. I don't want anybody to tell me I can't go to softball or I can't pick my kids up from school or no, you can't do this today because you've got to be here. I can't have someone else run my calendar. So you want to know what success means to me? I'm in control of the, what I say yes to um, and what I say no to. Money, money's easy. Money solves problems. I care what you, anybody says, money solves problems. If you have a, a, a family member that's got bills medical bills or bills they can't handle and it's stressing them out and you can cut a check that solves a problem if someone in your family's ill and you can cut a check that solves a problem tony and i have provided tens of millions of meals to feeding america that's that's a cutting a check to solve a problem if we help you know slavery around the world if we build schools that's solving a problem i retired my mom 25 years ago i've solved that problem wow so to me is if money solves problems then we should do everything in our power to gain skills to get money so we could solve more problems. And when someone says um, money isn't good, I said, then you haven't given enough away. So that's that's how yeah. I feel about it. Oh my that. goodness. Thank you very much for sharing that. I was sharing last week that I have a wallet the, that is like generosity. That's the correct way in English. So I have the generosity wallet. So I changed bill 5, 10, 20 because I travel a lot to Colombia, Mexico, Dominican Republic, around the world. I give money to others because I want. And I every time that. that I do that, I say like, I need to make more money to make exactly. more impact. So, exactly. so thank you. Thank you very much for that. The last ask is like, you do a special invitation. And if you can put like a few words in Spanish, we will love that. Because when people hit future480.com and they go through my link, I'm going to do something really special for them, Dean. So I have a team that is already like excited. So we every day we are going to be working hours to do a translation in Spanish in a PDF so they can have in Spanish, okay, the best so moment, amazing. the best knowledge. So we are going to be doing that the five whole day. And even if you do like a natural life, maybe we do that. <laughs> also that because we want the people like not only have the life experience with you, Tony, and all the guests, but also they can have something in Spanish. Okay, so I'm really excited. We are going to be all in with this interview. I love it. I love it. May, I'll ask my wife. Maybe we could do something. She can help translate for me and help me of with my course, Spanish. Of course, of course, of course. And But I want like you to do the invitation. 
for the Spanish speaking community, please. Yeah, um, here, here's what I want to say. Here's what my, my wife's family is from Mexico. My wife's uh, first language is Spanish. And it, it has been such an amazing journey to be a part of that culture. And what my wife always tells me is Latinos are the most loyal people on the planet. When you find somebody who serves you, <laughs> when somebody who truly cares with their heart, they don't go anywhere. And my wife is always pushing us to translate more, to do more in Spanish, because I, I was sharing with you earlier when we started, my whole, all my in-laws are coming, my, my, my brother-in-laws and sister-in-laws, my in-laws, my, my wife's parents are coming where we are here in New York. And for the next three days, it will be the most, the greatest love fest on the planet. And I'm, I'm always trying to keep up because they all talk Spanish. So I'm doing my best. Even my three-year-old speaks Spanish. Um, but I, my invitation is this, no matter if you speak Spanish, English, speak any language, we all know that we are meant for more. You wouldn't be listening to this podcast. You wouldn't show up if you didn't know there's, a, there's something else more for you. Something that if you don't tap into, you could have huge regret at the end of your life. And I just would love to invite you to come to this challenge, especially you'll have the opportunity to have the translation and really understand what's possible. This is not a way to get rich for doing nothing. Uh, it just doesn't exist in any culture, in any language. But if you'd like a true path and plan and a roadmap to see what's possible anywhere in the world, we have people in over 100 countries using our strategies in every language possible. If you'd like to see what's possible, then I'd love to invite you to come to the event. Yes, you can register at future480.com. I'll get with my wife and I'll get with you. We'll get together and see if there's something we can do. Yes, Maybe my wife please. can translate, do a quick little interview or something. So we'll figure something out. Yes, but of right course. now, that will be if amazing. you know you're meant for more, go to future480.com and reserve your spot. Thank you very much, Dean. Just like uh, I said to you at the beginning, in the back, you have a partner here. You and Tony have a partner here for the Spanish speaking community. This is my mission to help people, to teach people. And I know that your challenge is going to change life, mine included. So thank you very much for your time. I hope that you have an amazing time with your family in this day and that you have a successful like challenge, really. Well, thank you so much. This was, this was so much fun. And we'll see you guys on August 1st. Yes. Bye-bye.